Hi everyone. In this video, I will show you how I added a GPS onto my electric wheelchair. The reason I purchased it is multifaceted. I obviously purchased it for the maps. I sometimes go to Toronto, Ontario with my electric wheelchair as well as other cities and it would be fantastic to have maps to come with me. The GPS is able to play music. There are times when I take my electric wheelchair out because I'm in pain and having the music will be soothing in addition to a short drive helping me cope with my long-term disability. The GPS is able to play videos. The GPS I purchased has a seven inch screen. The videos will come in really handy while I'm waiting for doctors. And finally, the GPS has a notepad function. This will be great so I can have notes on the screen for grocery shopping or questions that I want to talk to my doctors about. The GPS cost me $68 Canadian. It wasn't expensive. It's a generic brand that came from China. I'll put the link up for it. It's been a good experience. Let's get started and show you the process I went through. I hope this helps. This is the top down angle of how I'm using the hacksaw. So the paper is the guide and I'm just keeping the, the hacksaw straight with the paper. Just going back and forth. Hi everyone. So what I'm doing now is applying the primer to the metal bracket that will hold my GPS. Okay, and I will come back and do the back side as well as multiple thin coats on both sides until it's solid. I'm not going to keep showing on camera all the thin coats, but when I'm done, this will have three to four thin coats on both sides. The next step is to glue a two inch ABS end cap to the bracket that I'm using to mount the GPS onto my wheelchair. This is a two inch ABS end cap. It's normally used in plumbing to go on to conduit so that sewer gases won't escape. This end here is actually the same size as the suction cup a GPS uses to normally go onto the windshield. And this is PL9000. It's the construction adhesive I'm using to join the metal and the ABS together. To begin with, I marked the area of an end cap that was going to be touching the metal. So I took a highlighter and basically wrote out the little rectangle. Then I took sandpaper and roughed it up. Next, I filled that space in with the PL9000. I pushed it together with the metal bracket. Then with this particular type of adhesive, you can take it apart and let it vent for two to five minutes to increase the strength of the bond that's formed. So that's what I did. 
and then I used the clamp to hold it together so that it would glue and get past the stage where it can be shifted around. I used the clamp as bare set of hands to help compensate with using the electric, electric wheelchair for my mobility. It's actually past the point now where it's going to be able to come apart and the glue has set. So I'm going to go ahead and release this from the clamp so I can show you the progress that's been made. So I've loosened the clamp. Okay, and here's the end cap on it. Here's a profile shot so you get a better look at it. And then top down, you can see the pattern that the clamp had on it. I really put it on hard. And I will come along with a razor and just cut off this little bit of PL9000 that squirted out with the edge. And then I'll finish painting this. The primer is now on the bracket. This is the part that will face the ground. Then this is the part that will be facing upwards although mostly on scene because of going underneath the joystick controller for the wheelchair. So it's done and it's time to go ahead and get this painted black. So I'm now going to apply the first layer of black to the bracket that I'm making. The camera that I was using to film has died so I've switched to using my laptop computer's built-in webcam. I know this doesn't have as good of quality. I do have a better one coming in the mail soon. So I'm just doing light strokes back and forth over this. And then I will also be painting the back side and giving it a second coat. I just want to share this first bit with you so you get an idea of the steps that I'm taking to make this bracket and get it onto my computer, sorry, onto my electric wheelchair, I mean. I've removed the joystick from my electric wheelchair. I'm using the bracket it mounts onto as the same mounting point for the bracket I'm making to mount the GPS. I've traced around the edge of the bracket as well as the two bolt holes so that I'll be able to drill them into the metal bracket I'm making. I traced around the edge specifically so I'll be able to center the two bolt holes on the piece of aluminum I purchased. And then the bolt holes themselves I will use to get the right size drill bit so the original screws will still be able to fit through into the joystick. I will need to go to the hardware store to buy longer bolts. The bracket I purchased is a quarter inch thick. The bolts need that additional quarter inch length so they properly secure the joystick to my electric wheelchair when I put it back together. So next step for me will be drilling the bolt holes into the bracket I'm fabricating before I finish applying the black paint. I'm at the stage now where I'm drilling the holes for the bracket I'm fabricating to match up with the mounting point for my electric wheelchair joystick. The drill I'm using is battery powered, 
unfortunately the battery is old and it's needing to be recharged instead of making a video of me showing you me drilling instead I just want to show you it part way complete you can see the hole on the left is about three quarters of the way through and the hole on the right is just a guide to get me started when I made the two small holes I had it lined up with the wheelchair to check and recheck that it would line up with the mounting point for my joystick. So it is going good. Um, and I just want to share this part of the process with you. When the holes are complete, I'll come back. I've now attached the bracket to the electric wheelchair. This part here is where the joystick is mounted onto. This part here spins when the joystick is moved to the left or to the right, keeping it facing forward. I wanted to tap into that component so the GPS would remain facing forward regardless of where I position the joystick. So I took out the two bolts here and here. Then I went up to Home Depot. Home Depot has a bolt nut matching device. It has all the different size and it has all the different threads. I found the size that were used and then I bought them but a quarter inch longer. That quarter inch is to make up for the thickness of the metal that I've used that I'm using to mount my GPS. When I put the bolts back in, I used this thread locker blue 242. What's so special about it is that it's able to be removed. It's like a temporary crazy glue. To remove it, you have to apply some pressure. It won't fall out when the wheelchair is bouncing down the sidewalk as the driver moves around. So this is now mounted and then the next step will be getting the ABS components glued into the holder that I've used the end cup. It's now time to add the conduit to this 2 inch ABS end cap. What I've done is put the PL9000 around the circumference as well as the end. I've put it close to the bottom so that it will go up the sides and hold it in place. Some of you may wonder why I'm not using ABS solvent. The reason is that I wanted more time to work with the PL9000 than the ABS adhesive gives. So what I'm doing now is just rubbing it in around the parameter. I'm just doing in behind. Okay, and I've now gone all the way around. So it's in there. It needs 15 or so minutes to set so it won't come loose. Once that's done, I'll be able to go ahead and add the GPS to this section. The final step is gluing the GPS with the end cap already pre-glued into and onto the conduit. So the reason I'm not using ABS solvent for this procedure is because I need more time to make fine adjustments. And what I mean by this 
is that I'm effectively changing the shape of the wheelchair and I need to make sure that I'm putting it where I want it to be exactly. What I'm looking for is the far corner that my finger's on to match the edge of the joystick as a straight line, like this. And I am happy with its position. I've got the GPS oriented like this, so it has the ability to turn that way or to turn that way as well, left or right. So I'll have to leave this now and let it cure for the next half hour. And then it won't come loose while the remaining curing time occurs. And I'm really pleased to have got this far. I've come outside just to show you the GPS on and it has found where I live. This wheelchair has a USB port on it so that's powering the GPS. If you don't have a USB port you could purchase a rechargeable 12 volt battery and then there are adapters available that will allow you to step down the voltage to the 5 volts and add a USB port through the step down device. These are readily available on eBay. So I have this as well. I want to show you on here there is a music player on here right here there's a movie player on here and this ebook option is able to read text files that will be what I use to read notes I bring to the doctors as well as grocery shopping lists for example. I've bought an extra long cable that connects the computer to the GPS for when I dock it to transfer files. And I bought a micro SD card that gives me 128 gigs of storage capacity in the GPS and that will be more than enough for what I need for notes as well as music and videos. I'm very pleased that I've completed this process. Certainly the GPS is going to make my life easier. When I agreed to an electric wheelchair it was for me to live my life so I've been to Toronto such as as well as to Kingston and other villages in the area with my wheelchair. I didn't get the wheelchair to stay home and be shut inside. So this will help improve my quality of life and I certainly would recommend the GPS for anyone that is going to be traveling and still has you know that drive to live their life to the fullest. I understand that it takes some getting used to. Certainly someone that's young used to cell phones and touch screens would adapt to this easier than someone who didn't grow up with these devices. But if you'll stick it out it'll become a great tool for you to use with your life. Thanks for this time together. Bye for now.